Hey YouTube, it's RJ and I'm coming you, to you today from a different setting in my room. Um, I really hope you like it. I am loving it. I'm not totally grayed and yellowed out in the lighting. It's just a different position in my room and the window is actually like right here in front of me and so I think it's giving me a little bit more normal lighting. So we'll see. Let me know if this is better or if it's really the same. I know I'm kind of washed out but I think it's better. Anyways, I've been wanting to, for a long time, to do a What's in My Bag video. This is like one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube just when I have some time to kill. I think it's so fascinating, and so I'm going to show you what's in my bag today. This is uh, my bag. I got it um, the day before Black Friday when everything was 50% off. Sorry, 50% off in Express. And so this is the bag, and I really like this kind of like suitcase carry-on bag look to it and um, I just saw that Dulce Candy, I think it's 87, got the same bag in pink from Express. So I was like, oh yeah, I got an awesome bag too. So I'll just film my video now while this is the bag that I've been pretty much using for the week. Um, it's not my work bag, it's just, you know, my fun bag. So um, I hate having loose things in my bags. It's just really annoying to me not being able to find everything. So I have this canvas bag in here that holds all my odds and ends. And um, we'll go ahead and go through that first. So in here it's kind of like kind of trash and any random bits. I have a lot of lipsticks. Um, I have the lipstick that I'm wearing today, which is my MAC Speed Dial. I'm in, and it's on my lips now. And this is the color. It's basically like a really Barbie pink. It's kind of a little darker. Well, no, I think this is about true to color. So it's basically like a very bright bubblegum. A little bit darker than bubblegum. I don't really know. Basically a hot pink. And I love this. It's a, one of the creme sheen lipsticks, so it's almost like having a chapstick on your lips. Um, and then I also, with that, I'm wearing, I wanted to tone it down. But I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm wearing Satin on my lips by LA Colors. And I actually like, I mean, the packaging is atrocious and it doesn't, can you hear that? doesn't twist up that well. But here's the color. It's like um, a tan nude and it's got a gold shimmer in it. And this is actually a much better nude and I think it goes on much, much better than this other nude that I have in here, which is um, Pink Sugar. And this is by Maybelline, maybe? Mm. I'm not sure. I think it's by... Maybelline and it is just so thick and like does not go on well. I mean it is just that is just one swipe and it's very pigmented but it is not smooth at all. It sh makes every crevice in your lips show up. Not a fan. Um, I guess while I have a swatch of that I might as well show you the Speed Dial Creme Sheen by MAC. Love it. And then here is the LA Colors, what was this, satin? So it's just much more of a pinky color. Here it is, than this. So it's just much more of a natural. I mean, my lips are not this color. So I think that's why this one works so much better. And it's just so much more glossy, as you can see. What else do I have in here? On with the lip products. I've got this e.l.f. 2-in-1 Conditioning Gloss, which I love this stuff. And it's something great to throw on my lips just when I um, need a little lip gloss because it is pretty sheer, but it really does the trick over any lipstick that I have on. It's um, kind of like a tinted, looks much more red in the bottle than it does on here. Just like a tinted pinkish red with a gold shimmer. And I really love this. It really works well for my complexion and goes well on top of any lipstick that I have. Then I've got my chapstick, which actually says the name of my apartment on it, so you can only see it like this. They have bowls of candy, like in the apartment office, and then one day they had chapstick, and this chapstick is so good. It tells you all the ingredients on the outside of it and it is amazing. It's got soybean oil, beeswax, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil. So this is really good stuff. Um, 
Then I have nail glue because I'm a cheapskate and I don't want to pay to get my nails done. So these are just plastic glue on nails and I can't ever stick with one nail style very long anyway. So this just really works for me because I can take these off in a couple of days. But um, I'm also not cheap enough to be okay with walking around with one just like off. So there's my nail glue. Um, you know, hand sanitizer from the dollar store. I've got this e.l.f. Hypershine Gloss, which I really like, but it's getting to the point where it's pretty low and it's hard to get it to twist up. This stuff is also pretty sticky, but um, I got it from the dollar store, so. Then I've got um, just some pins and little sticky tabs just for work and such, and gum and wrappers. So that way no trash is floating around in the bottom of my bag. And I just keep it all in this. And this is actually by Julie Apple. Um, I got it online and it's just really great. Made in the USA, all from organic. Everything is air dyed so that they don't use water. Um, so it's just really great with found items and totally organic, um, eco-friendly, love, love, love. Um, okay, I've got my wallet, which this is from Urban Outfitters, and it is so old. I mean, you can see here where the button is on the outside. It's starting to, like, come off. I mean, this is, like, three years old, but I love the color and the pattern on it. And then inside, we've got all kinds of normal things. There's my ID that I'm covering up. Um, and I am like kind of an organized freak. So over here are all my like store items. We've got like my Beauty Insider cards, some of my favorite stores, like the cards to the art stores that I go to, library card, like any of that sort of thing, like rewards cards. And then over here I've got anything with basically like money on it. So like gift cards, credit cards, um, like ID cards, and then like gift cards. So... And then, you know, there's money in there and such, obviously. Um, I've got my planner. And I always like to get a planner that's small enough that I can carry with me at all times. So I don't have any trouble fitting this planner into any size bag that I'm carrying. It's upside down the whole time. So here it is. And um, I really like this one, just this rustic feel. And then the inside of it has these tabs to find the dates. It also has full calendars in it, so I have to keep everything in my planner because I have too much going on at any one time to remember. Um, I've got my grocery list. Apples, bread, fruit, vegetables, almonds, pretzels, cheese, and crackers. So, um, And then any other kind of notes or lists that I have to make. I try to be organized, so keeping notepads on me is good. Speaking of notepads, here is another notepad. Um, I love this design. This is kind of where I write down things that I want to preserve. I mean, I would never just throw this out when it's full. So this is so pretty that I write things in it that I would like to keep this on a bookshelf and look back at. Um, so let's see what I have in here so far. Well, I won't show you the first page. Oh, I hope you didn't see it. It's basically like um, passwords and such. It's not really a good thing to keep in here. Then I've got like, um, this is, I think I wrote this when I first like moved out. It's basically like a bunch of different menu items. Like I guess I made, I used to make basil burgers a lot for my friends, um, and stir fry and like the, the ingredients, like my favorite salad, I guess like easy grocery shopping ideas. Um, and like page references to like my favorite cookbooks and the good recipes in there. Um, supplies for journal making. Okay. Um, and then I've got all my Christmas lists in here starting in 2010. So 2010 and then like as I've got my lists going, um, a recipe for red velvet um, cookies, Christmas list 2011, and then I've got Christmas list 2012 started and in progress on here. So basically I have the list of all the people who I give presents to, and then what I plan on getting, making, or what I have already bought for that person. So that's what's in there. And then uh, basically in the bottom of my bag is a handful of junk. I've got two tickets. I have no I, I, I think this is for my little sister's step shows. Random um, receipt. And 
a packet of caramel apple, caramel apple cider, which is from the Dollar Tree, and it's actually pretty good, and I just have it in my bag, I guess. Anyways, I hope you enjoy seeing what was in my bag, and um, if you plan on filming one of these bags soon, definitely attach it as a video response or let me know that you have one. Um, I really enjoy finding the people that are subscribed to me and then subscribing to them. Um, or to you, I guess. Um, I just think it's so cool. I feel like we're in conversation and we have this like global community of people that are all interested in the same sort of things. Um, and I love just being in conversation with all of you. So let me know if you have a video that I need to watch. Bye.